we just launched into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong. If you are new to this version, Why look for a link in? in the video description below for this quick reference. That way you can follow along. We are playing at a zero point table, chicken hand table. Let's keep number tiles. We're in West C. So no we're going to focus on number tiles. We do have right, right. chow potential everywhere West but the win. one bam. There's a four, five, six chow right there. Pair of sevens. Here's a six, Down seven. So we've got lots of good chow potential West going on here. We just need to get there quicker than everybody else. This is typically a pretty quick game when you play at a chicken hand table because you don't need to build. You just go with eight what you have. Minutes. So there's a six, seven, eight chow. chow. And it leaves a five, seven potential chow. One bamboo. So we do have some redundancy here. We have a four or five side weight. Red we could dragon. complete this with a three bam Nine or a six dots. bam. We could also do a five, six, seven, but we have a closed weight there, so only one tile will complete the four, five, Three seven. Bamboos. So there's a chow. Chow. We'll discard seven bam. Seven bamboos. And let's see, one five, six, seven. We need one more chow in here, here still One dot. before we're ready. We do have a pair of sixes, though. Chow. Five dots. A good, any good crack will, hmm. will get us ready to win. You can only claim a discard Nine from the player on your left to complete a chow. A pung you can take from anybody. Five characters. Okay, five, three, four, five. Let's see. Five, let's do five, six, seven. Chow. Okay, there's five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. We'll discard the one. One character. And we're ready to win on a three crack or a six crack because we need a pair. So we have a three, four, five, six. Easy. This is not a four tile chow. Three characters. It's going to be three, four, five, or four, five, six in here. That three crack made our pair. Mahjong. So we've got a mahjong on all chow. So this is going to be a one fawn hand, all chow. We've got mixed suits, so that's why it's only one fawn. All the blocks, though, are chows. When you have that consistency, you'll get value. Let's look and see what we have over here. We have, looks like another potential chow hand. They're set up for all chow. They don't have any pairs in here, but that just means they're set up to chow, all chow. That would have been a good hand, too. Here we have a mixture of chows, pears, pung. So this would have been a chicken hand probably. A mix when you mix a pung and chows in different suits, you're going to have little to no value in your hand. They're in E seat. They have their own flower, so they would have gotten a fawn there. Here we have another. No, yep, we have another mixture because they have two pair. If they had pung one of these then they would have had no value in their hand. If they would have chowed instead and used one of them for their pair, like the one bam, for example, and did a chow with the five, six, instead of pung the five, let's say, then they would have had all chow, which is a fawn. They're in south seat and they have their own flower, so they would have gotten a fawn there too. Don't forget to look in the video description below for this quick reference. That way you can follow along with these videos. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.